Hello, Libras. This is your reading for the 20th through the 21st. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're interested in a personal reading, the link for the website is down below the video. All right, please show me messages, love messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Please show me. Please show me. You got several cards when I jump out here. Something must be going on with you guys. I'm feeling agitation. Knight of Pentacles is something that you feel like you just cannot get away from. And no matter how hard you try, it's like your progress, you're feeling like your progress is being slowed here. Okay. Yeah, that Three of Swords. When I was shuffling the other deck, I saw the Three of Swords. Um, a lot of you are still really thinking about... Um, some disappointment, some heartache, something. Something is going on with you guys. Let's see what else. King of Swords. It's like you want to, you just want to get away from it. I'm feeling like a lot of you guys just want to hide from something here. Um, you just want to, you just, but you can't. You can't get away from it. It's like front and center in your mind um, and it's not going anywhere. And it's like, hmm, you want to do what's right. You want to make the right decisions. You want to do what's right in the situation. Um, but there's something that I feel like you guys wish you could escape. You wish you could get away from. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Please show me more about the Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. Definitely wanting to move on, thinking about something so heavily and just wanting to not think about it anymore. Okay? Wanting to move on, but there's something that you just cannot get past. It's with you constantly. Show me more about the Three of Swords. Show me more about the Three of Swords, Two of Cups. There's a connection here that I feel like you guys cannot stop thinking about here. There's somebody that you love, okay, that I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, there's something that you've learned or there's something that you've experienced, maybe a cancer individual. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like yourself, Air Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But there's some something that you've learned about somebody or something that has really hurt you that you just cannot get off of your mind. You're trying so very hard to do so. It's like, you know, and you're trying to think logically about this. You're trying to to weigh your options to figure out what is the best thing to do in this situation. Please show me more about the King of Swords. Please show me more about the King of Swords. Three of Cups. There's something that's that's been very hurtful to you. There's something that's been very hurtful to you. Um, you just want to be happy. You really do. It's like you don't want to. You don't want to have these ruminating thoughts. You don't want to think about um, what has hurt you. You're trying to grow. You're trying to be happy. You're trying to do those things that make you happy. 
But it's like you're constantly being drawn back in to this place of feeling um, miserable. Hmm. Please show me more about justice here. That's cancer energy there as well with the three of cups. Please show me more about justice here. The knight of wands. You just want to escape something. There's something that I'm feeling like you guys just. You just wish you could just escape something here. Okay. It's strongly what I'm getting. There's something that you wish you could just like not even think about, not even deal with. Let's see what energy is coming in for Libra. What energy is coming in for Libra? Some disappointment here for sure. What energy is coming in for Libra? The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. It's a single person declaring singledom. Okay. King of Swords. The King of Swords is repeating itself here. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual here in this situation. But I think this is more of your energy where, you know, you kind of offered your, you were willing to spend the time to develop a connection. But because you felt like, you know, you deserve something here, okay? Whatever this was for you, um, you felt like you deserve this, okay? But something has happened that I feel like you guys are, you're, you're kind of becoming, you know, a little aloof with this situation, like your feelings, you're removing your feelings from this. You're thinking really logical about this situation, um, not really trying to involve your feelings to a certain degree because I'm, I'm getting that there's a disappointment here that is front and center that you guys just cannot seem to get away from. You can't seem to escape. Um, you want to bolt. There's something that scares you here or something that scared you before that's affecting a current situation. Something something is, is dredging up some stuff for you. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Queen of Pentacles. I don't, I feel like you guys, you kind of go back and forth between wanting to leave and, you know, just be done with the situation and wanting to be there present in the situation. It's like you're being indecisive is a thing. One minute, it's, it's like, you know, you feel like it would be best for you to be single and like remove your feelings. And the next minute, it's like um, you're feeling like you do want to be in a connection. You do want to be in this relationship. I'm feeling like you guys, you know, there's just a lot that's affecting you currently that's dredging up some old feelings here. The Emperor. Some of you feel like this person, um, there's an individual that's being kind of cold, kind of stubborn, and really not doing much. 
Okay. Or either you guys have gotten to a point where you feel like you're not doing anything anymore. Okay. Just kind of giving up on a situation, declaring um, that you're going to be single, that it's better for you to be single versus, you know, exposing your vulnerability and opening up to a situation because you have this, this thing about being hurt or being hurt again. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. So we have, um, Virgo energy here. I feel Capricorn may be here as well. Taurus, Aries energy. Um, Aquarius is here uh, pretty strongly. Cancer is here. Gemini is here. Okay. Could be Leo, Sagittarius as well. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.